All right, guys. So we're back on the bus, and the plan for today is to take out the rest of the seats. So last time we were here, we took out all of these seats, and today I'm here by myself. And at least we were able to take out all the screws from the middle part. I'm gonna clean up here a bit because it's very dirty. And then now I'm gonna finish taking off all the screws on the side so I can take all these seats off. And then if I get finished with that, I don't know if I'm going to start doing the ceiling because it's very hard and I need some more tools for that. But I did buy a rubber wheel so I can start taking off all the stickers and everything from the outside of the bus. So all of these things are coming off maybe I'll get on top of the roof and take everything off so we can prep it for the roof ceiling so yes that's the plan for today bit of screws that are on this side so let's see if we can see some from here okay all right so there is one screw over here the last time I did this by myself I couldn't get all of them but it was also because I was kind of in a rush or not in a rush I just wanted to do the ones that were easiest first and get all those done with and then go back to the harder ones so I didn't waste my time so today we're going to be taking out these screws and they're kind of hard to get to because I have to hold it from the top in one side and then from the bottom and unscrew them like that and it takes forever but that's what we're going to do today so yep it's also been really hard because I can't get this to fit inside to hold it still so I actually don't even know how to do this one there's another one back here and it's hard to get to so that wasn't that bad so the problem that I'm having here there's two screws the first one is not the problem the second one is too far in for me to get this thing all the way through like this part of it won't go through. It won't hold it. So what I did is I grabbed kind of the same size, but this one is the one that goes on the drill. And I kind of just placed it on the top and held it with my fingers. And then I used this. Notice how I don't know any of the names of the tools. <laughs> I used this to unscrew it from the bottom and that kind of worked. And I'm having the same problem with the one all the way on the back side, but it's a little bit tight. So I'm gonna go back to that one later. But pretty much this is what I have to do to all of them to be able to take all the seats out. All right, so I did it. What I came up with was this little contraption here. So since this, wouldn't fit because this was too big. I tried to grab the smaller one, right? But the smaller one with like the other, with this thingy, wouldn't fit either. So I put this fit, right? So this went in. Making stuff up here. And then this, I grabbed the one fourth of this thingy. And I connected this one here. I made my own thing. I made my own tool. No, not like that, like this. All right, so there you go. And then I put this one here. And then I was able to push all of this into there so I can hold the top while I unscrew the bottom, making up my own tools.
missing is these. So hopefully I'll be able to take these out. And then the floor will be ready to rip up. But first I think I'm gonna have to take off the ACs and the ceiling. And the ceiling But the seats are off. About to do a sweep and keep on going. big handicap elevator thingy off and I have no idea how to take this thing out. Like, you see those bolts? I don't know how to take that out. So, the next thing is I'm gonna have to take off is the ceiling. And for me to be able to take off the ceiling, I have to take off that AC and this AC. And I kind of started taking off this AC. So now I think I know how to take it off. But look at it. I have no idea what I'm doing, but we'll see. I'm saved. Sí, no, no, no he visto, no he visto la llamada esa. Ah, bueno, no, el reloj tenía cargado y ahora fui lo cogí. Alright, guys. So a new build. Just saved me from doing the ACs. <laughs> he just took that one off. 